formicas that are required. The first one is very easy. It needs to be done every single day though, okay? So um, basically around closing time or at night time, please uh, wash all the spots. The reason you do this is because there's always a drop of wine that sticks to the tip of the spout. And if you let it dry up, it's going to leave behind a ring of sugar and sediment right here on the inside of the tip. And it's going to build up over time. Um, and it's going to start to narrow down your spout and your uh, the flow is going to be very restricted. You're going to be shorting all the customers and also it's going to attract fruit flies. Okay? So to avoid that uh, buildup of sugar, you need to wash it every single night. It's very easy to do. Take a glass, fill it up near the top with hot water. Immerse each one. A couple seconds of hot water. Wipe off with a towel. A couple seconds of hot water. Oh, that's easy. Wipe off with a towel. Every single one. Yeah. yeah. You can use scalding water if you want. The hotter the water, the more quickly it works on the sugar. Okay. Uh, just don't scald yourself. Okay. Otherwise, just you use uh, the hot tap water, and then a little bit of water and wash. So every single one, both machines, please. It's just going to take a minute. And then uh, the other part of the maintenance needs to be done uh, once a month. And uh, the easiest way to go through that is to, well, first of all, you're gonna have to remove all of your wines because you have to flush it through with sanitizer and water. So remove all your wines, have some corks handy. I recommend to cork up your wine so they don't just sit out here exposed while you're uh, doing the cleaning. And then you're gonna take a clean, empty bottle of wine just like this, fill it up with hot tap water, no, not scalding hot, okay? So not from a coffee maker, as hot as you can get it from your tap is fine, okay? Hot tap water and mix in there Half an ounce, this is about 50 milliliters, half an ounce of your commercial bar sanitizer. Whatever you guys are using for dishes and glassware is okay to use in the machine. Um, so concentrated liquid, half an ounce. If you have one of those mixers in the kitchen that already mixed the water and sanitizer for you, just fill up the whole bottle with that, okay? And uh, otherwise, if you're gonna do the three sink process where you make a tub of sanitizer by dissolving on tablets, just make a tub of sanitizer and dunk the bottle in there and fill it up with the sanitizer, okay? So, uh, however you do it, just make a, a bottle of sanitizer, load it up like you normally do, a bottle of wine dispense, two of your six ounces, that's about half the bottle, the bottle is 45, so two of your six ounces, take it down, move it over, another two of your six ounces, should be about empty, refill it, keep going until it's done, and then uh, when you're done sanitizing the whole machine, you're going to do the same thing with uh, plain water to flush it up. Same thing, hot tap water, not scalding. Uh, use another bottle or rinse this one well. And then same thing, two full glasses, half a bottle through each position to, uh, to rinse it out. And then you're gonna take all the straws out when you're done sanitizing the machine and uh, run them through commercial dishwasher, okay? To clean them. And then uh, you can put the, uh, put your whites back in. So once again, use gloves when you have them. And you're just gonna connect the bottle with the sanitizer to each one of Yes. Yeah. Empty bottle of wine, full of sanitizer and water, half a bottle for each position, and then half a bottle of water for each position. And then, uh, and then you're done. So that should be done once a month. You have two machines. If you want to split it up uh, every two weeks, do one machine. It's up to you, uh, however you guys want to do it. Um, there is another way to do it by using the sanitation menu and the machine. You don't have to follow that process. Uh, if you watch the video on our website, it shows you how to do it in, in that process. It's a little bit more complicated, but it basically does the same thing. It kind of guides you through it, and then it will tell you to, um, uh, to put a bottle of sanitizer, and then it will tell you to put a bottle of water, and then um, the only reason that we don't usually show that method is because it's weird to use the menu. Uh, the way that it's designed, so you push a menu, and then you go up, up to sanitation and hit OK. And then the way you cycle to this menu is by pushing the two outside buttons together. So that's weird. Uh, keep pressing them together until you get the function that you want. So there are up and down functions in here. So you can take your bottle of wine down. You can put your bottle of sanitizer up and then you can push taste and it'll start dispensing sanitation solution. And it'll prompt you to replace it with water. So if you want to follow this menu, uh, it's also in the manual, which I'm going to give to you guys. And uh, it's on our website. You can use the menu. Uh, but it, most of the customers you prefer to just dispense. Yeah, um, things easier. Yeah, uh, just dispense through, uh, through, through the tap. The only other benefit of, well, there are two benefits of using the menu. Number one is that the machine kind of keeps track of it. So after about a month, um, it'll, whenever you put this card in to access the menu, it will say sanitation time on all of them. And that will never go away unless you use the menu to sanitize it. Um, and then the other part of it is um, if you... Um, 
Yeah, that's pretty much the only benefit, is, uh, is to make that, that, that sign of fiction when you go away. Um, other than that, uh, I mean, it, it keeps track of it, so if you take a look in here, it actually tells you the dates of when you did the sanitation. Uh, most of our customers, you only have two machines, so it's not usually that big of a deal to just keep track of it. Okay? Oh, and it allows you to dispense multiple bottles at the same time. That's the other benefit of using the sanitation menu. Uh, because if you do the regular dispensing way, you can only dispense one bottle at a time. Okay? So you have to keep moving over, moving over, moving over. If you wanted to do this really quickly, you set up several bottles at the same time, you go into the sanitation menu, and then get them all to say taste. They have a large bucket or trough and go taste, taste, and then they all dispense at the same time. You know, so you could do it like that. Um, it's a lot of work, so unless you have like a lot of machines, they, it's going to take, you know, if you want to cut down on a full day of maintenance and do it quickly. Uh, for a single, uh, just two machines, it's usually not worth, you know, setting up all these bottles of sanitizer and doing them, you know, like, you know, like that. It's a lot of prep work, and it only saves you a little bit of time for just two machines. So.